Hello, I'm Rina Sanger. I'm the head of Digital and Connected Health at Ipsos Mori. Today, I'm talking about a topic I'm very passionate about, healthcare. 2020 has truly been the year of healthcare. The COVID-19 pandemic has rapidly changed our behaviors. It's challenged our medical systems, and it's driven demand for new services and solutions. Now, the changes and trends that we're seeing are certainly not unexpected. Many of the solutions were already here and existed, but the adoption just wasn't there yet. We already were aware within healthcare that we have an infrastructure problem. We have an aging population, and we simply do not have enough doctors being trained and skilled to deliver care in the future. And technology was always going to be an enabler to provide healthcare and health support at scale. Today, with the pandemic and all the changes that we've seen, we're seeing widespread adoption of things such as online consultations, known as telehealth, chatbots powered by artificial intelligence, self-testing kits being sent to individuals' homes, and remote monitoring happening at scale through apps and wearables. This year, telehealth in particular has been vital. It's taken center stage as doctors for the first time have had to really adapt and experience and understand how to deliver care virtually. How do I diagnose? How do I treat? How do I monitor my patients remotely and give them that advice? From the consumer perspective too, our Ipsos COVID-19 tracker showed that in May 2020, one in five individuals globally across 14 countries experienced telehealth for the first time. Another technological innovation which has really come up in, in adoption are chatbots, often seen in the banking world. And today, you're able to use them to triage your symptoms for coronavirus. We've been able to locate your, lo your local test center and be delivered with smart and remote diagnosis, especially important today when we, we just simply can't have human-to-human -human contact. And finally, the role of the pharmacist. We must thank all of our healthcare workers and frontline workers, done an incredible job and continue to, to do so. Uh, and it, pharmacists in particular have had a really critical role to play as they sit within the community. They've been there advising, supporting individuals with a chronic condition, helping with our future services around vaccine administration. The role of the pharmacist is only going to grow in importance and we're gonna see more and more services move into a community setting. So what does this mean? What does this mean for the future, the future of healthcare? Well, health and technology are certainly here to stay. What we see happening is a continued trajectory of beyond the pill solutions being developed and delivered. Now this may be in complement to a pill and a treatment, or in fact, in place of it. What we must advise and constantly talk about with our clients is that anything that launches and is coming forward for delivering in healthcare must be truly, truly consumer-centric, designed with the users that you want to adopt your technology, designed alongside the doctors you want to recommend your product. The needs and learnings that we're having are continually evolving, and we're excited to see where the future of health is going next, and we'd love to talk to you about it. Thank you.